Hi, Mag. Welcome back. Can we get some yo's? Hi, Mag. It's been forever. You always like my tweets, but I never see you in chat. I get sad. But hi. I know. Yeah, Sag. How many of you guys are on winter break? Type one. Also, like, does audio sound fine? My mic is, like, in a different spot today. I just finished classes yesterday and now I have a cold? Bruh. You need to re-roll the D&D &D dice. Guys, new tweet, new tweet, go like it, por favor. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you fill out the naughty or nice quiz. Music is a tad loud. Okay. I lowered it a tad. If you don't fill out the naughty or nice quiz, you're automatically naughty. I don't make the rules. Exclamation quiz in chat to fill it out. We have 15 submissions. I want to get five more. My ears aren't also the best. Okay, I'll put the music back up. <laughs> it's because, like, whenever I do an audio test before stream starts, I, I talk really soft. But once I turn stream on, I talk really loud. And it's, like, really annoying to, like, edit footage back. I'm like, why isn't the audio, like, good? until Christmas? I know! And I have like 10 Christmas streams planned, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do them all. I might have to like combine a few. Oopsie. Dude, I just read my goal I tweet and I put today twice. End me. This one was my idea. Thank you, Mac. Thank you. Face cam on in 30 seconds. No joke. my chin my sister she put i have really bad acne for some reason i've been flaring up this week so she put neosporin all over my face literally like right before stream and i just wiped my hand across my chin and me yo i'm live good morning good afternoon hope everyone is doing well today welcome in everybody hi mag can we get some yo's Slightly different setup today. It's weird because my camera is where it used to be. I, it's weird having the face cam at eye level now. I miss being here. I'm not gonna say that I missed you. I'm not gonna say it. Kim is gonna be coming to chat soon. She better get in here quick. It's gonna be a short stream today. Hi, go Bobo. Can we get some yos? Hello. Yeah, I'm thirsty. Plan for today is simple. We're gonna be trying candy canes and 
rapid presence. Also, this is my mouse. It's not anything else. They're all hiding. Okay, let's do a little bit of catch. I can't touch my face. I can't touch my face. Okay. My sister would nose for him. Also, look at this. Ew. It's not like formed yet, but it looks like I got punched in the face. I promise it's a pimple. Ew. But you know what? It kind of makes my my cheek look defined, like a shadow. <laughs> it's like natural contour. I finally got to join a stream. Let's go! Can we get some yos? Welcome in. Hi. Hi, Rick or Rat. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Use the emotes. Hello. I saw you followed yesterday. Fog. Why'd I say that? Okay. Let's do a little bit of catch up. So, when was the last time I streamed? I think the last time I streamed was Monday. Oh, we have one more stream left of RPG. I really want to play it, but we gotta do a holiday. Because Christmas is in 10 days, everybody. Ain't that crazy? 10 days. I have bought all my Christmas presents already, so we're gonna be wrapping them today. The only person I haven't done is my roommate wanted me to paint them a painting, so I gotta get started on that tonight. I only got 10 days. Also, my mic is here. You can't see it. It's here today. Oh, whoa, look at this foreshortening. My hands are huge. Look how long. My hands are usually stubby. Okay. So, I did errands on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then yesterday, I was tired. I think I figured out why I've been so tired. It's because my mattress is shit. For some reason, the piece in of, like, three years ago was like, I'm gonna get a plush mattress. But no. There's- <laughs> It's so bad. The mattress goes like this, in the center. Because, you know, I'm lonely, so I don't have anybody to share with, so I just sleep in the center. So there's a huge dip in it. So I was like, okay, I'll flip the mattress. Which is fine. Because my mattress doesn't have coils in it. But then I realized it's been fucking up my back for the past week, so I flipped it back. I think that's why I've been extra tired. <laughs> Me? Do I hate not having anyone? Um, just tell Santa you want a GF and I'm sure you'll get one, don't worry. Twinkie flavored candy canes? We'll get there. Stop pre watching. We'll get there. Um, and then yesterday, I was gonna stream, but I was like, I'm gonna give myself one more day to rest because. I think the way I'm going to approach streaming from- what is this? Oh, it's my cup. Sorry, I have to think about how things are on frame. The way I want to approach stream from this point on, um, hashtag big announcement. I keep on looking at chat, I need to practice looking at my actual camera. Um, hashtag big announcement. I kind of want to treat streams like YouTube videos in the sense of I want to make sure that I'm like fully ready, I'm fully like on, in terms of like being like emotionally ready to be on camera. So, from this point on, whenever I click go live, I'm gonna be on. No more sad piecing. No more, I'm not gonna be farming sadges anymore. Only happy piecing. <laughs> That's my plan from this point on. And so that means like every just chatting stream is gonna be a bit more planned. Gaming streams are gonna be not necessarily more hype, but I'm gonna try and like I'm gonna try hard, you know what I mean? It's okay to be sad, yeah, but then it's like, I can't remember who said it, but, like, obviously you have to think about like what your audience wants as well. Like, I don't think people want to watch somebody who's sad, and I don't wanna be sad. Good for you, girl, because that helped me so much when streaming, yeah. I mean, like, I have the mindset, it's just a matter of like, committing to it, I guess. But that's the plan going forward. Lost on Twitch and be reverting its art changes? Dude. <laughs> I'm all for free speech. I think... Why am I commenting on it? I mean, I didn't stream it all the past few days because I wanted to see, like, what happened, right? Obviously, people were, like, being dumb. That's just how it is whenever there's new regulations and rules. But I'm all for free speech. I think people should do whatever they want. That's my opinion. I do think it's good that, um... They're, you, you can like manually filter out certain tags and stuff or they're not necessarily putting certain like tag content on the recommended page or like thumbnails. I think that's good because then people can't complain about like saying I don't want to see blank on the front page. Good. But 
<laughs> Obviously, I figured they were gonna revert on some things because you know people are dumb. They're gonna obviously people are gonna push the boundaries, and now we just can't look at statues anymore, guys. Sad. We can only look at statues for what a day and a half. Okay, anyway, that's my comments on it. Uh, otherwise, like, I, I'm all for people like expressing themselves however they want to. Like, I'm all for free speech. If you don't believe in like women showing their bodies, you don't believe in free speech. I'll say it. Anyway, I made this for my sister. <laughs> I made. Wait, let me zoom in. I made her a little keychain. Ain't it cute? I made this from like leftover findings, jump rings, and then like an Eevee ornament I got from the Hallmark store. And Claire's earrings. And it was so cute because I gave this to her yesterday because she's starting a new job on Monday. Can I get some claps and chat for my sister? So I was like, I want to make her something to like remember me. And I gave it to her yesterday. And <laughs> she was, I was like, are you going to put it on your backpack? Because that's like the first thing she'll do whenever she gets a new keychain. Um, and she's like, no, I don't want to lose it. It's really cute. I was like, oh. So she put it on the tree. So I'll put this back on our tree later. But it's really cute. I don't know if you could hear that. But it's like Jingle Bells because like she likes... She's, she's on the spectrum. She likes things that she can fiddle with. So like the moment I gave it to her, she was just playing with the bells. And it was really cute. She's turning 23 this year. Wait, no. Yeah, she's turning 23 this year. Her birthday is two days after Christmas, so... That's a whole nother debacle. Oh my god. I saw it on TikTok and it's adorable. Thank you. Thank you. She, yeah, she did get a job. I can't leak what it is, but... It pays more than what she made before, so... That's great. Um, Talking about my sister and big drama. She said I could share this story. So this was with permission. Um, before I start this story, guys, Twitch is being extra generous this year. If you cheer more than 300 bits in the chat, Twitch will match up to 10% of your cheer. So if you cheer 500 bits, they will give me an extra 50 cents. Yay! Or if you want to become a new tier 1 sub, they are up to... What is it? New tier 1 subs are 25% off until the end of the year, so subscribe today. Hi, Kimori! Can we get some yo's? Hello. I was- okay. No narcs, Kimori. I was just thinking about you. Not you, but like, in stream. Because I think the first time Kimari chatted was during the Santa Watch stream last year. You've been watching for almost a year. That's crazy. Anyway. Back to the story. So, my sister's birthday is- what you call it? Is two days after Christmas on the 27th. So, I, we, last year we got our cake from Safeway. For some reason, she wanted a Safeway cake. It was shit. We didn't finish it. It was so bad. Anyway. So, my birthday for this year in April, we got it from, like, a nice independent bakery. It was bussin'. We ate it on sh or I ate it on stream. It was so good. So, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get my sister a custom cake from this bakery. Now, this bakery, it's, like, not high-end, but it's not, like, rinky-dink. It's, like, in the middle. So, I put in a request for a custom order. My sister and I, like, sketched out our cake together. Dude, she... She wanted, like, something super complex that would have been, like, a $300 cake. And I was like, no shot. My budget is $100. So, I was like, we'll go have these. We'll get, like, partially ice decorations, and then I'll do fondant. And she said, okay, bet. So, we submit our order, and we get an email back yesterday. And they're like, okay, your cake is great. It'll be $180. And I'm like, shit! Because my budget is $100, right? You know, I've been saving my money for my sister to get a birthday cake this year because I'm broke. So I was like, oh no. <laughs> and like, we chose like the simplest design. Just a regular... Because for custom orders at this bakery, you can only get a four-tier cake. You cannot get anything smaller. It has to be like a three-layer cake. Oh no, I think they're farming. Off topic, where did you get that tree topper? Um, we got this one from GameStop last year. I don't know if they're selling it this year, but it's really cute, ain't it? Um, it might be vintage, so I'll sell it to you for... 50 bucks. <laughs> I haven't eaten any of these candies ever? Me neither. The only thing I've had is candy canes. But we'll try these later. 
Um, where's it going? So I was like, shoot, $180 for the cake, okay? So I was like, that's out of my budget. I can't buy her cake. So, Cause like, I wasn't eligible for my Twitch payout for November cause I didn't hit the minimum. That's fine, whatever. I, I got more donations in like October and September. So I wasn't mad, but I was like, shoot, I can't get the fucking cake. That's, that's one. Um, so I was like, sister, please, can, how about, like, we go have she's on the cake? And she's like, I'll make a deal. She was like, if I buy my cake, you buy your own birthday cake in April. And I was like, deal. So that's like the premise for like the actual funny bit of the story. Anyway, so we get a call. They're like, hey, can you prepay for the cake on the phone? And we're like, okay. So my sister gives her her card details. And then we get a call back, like, five minutes later, and the lady was like, Hey, actually, the card didn't work. So, my sister... Dude, she's so dumb. So, for the past few days, her credit card hasn't been working. Like, we're like, what is going on? It's not working at the store. I was like, did he get, like, fraudulently charged? Did he get frozen or something? But, like, we look at our mobile app, and, like, nothing is wrong with the card. So, we're like, what the fuck? So, then... My sister reads off the card details again on the phone, and Bozo... Her card expired in November. <laughs> so for the past two weeks, she's been trying to use an expired credit card, thinking it'll work. And I felt so bad for the lady on the phone, because she called us back several times. She's like, yeah, the card isn't working. She called us like three times, saying the card didn't work. But yeah. And then my sister was like, oh yeah, I got a new card in the mail like three weeks ago. Dude, clueless. She's turning 23. Anyway, she probably heard me say that story, but it was really funny. Dude. She's great. You guys will meet her one day. One day. <laughs> okay, I think that's all that's happened the past few days. I think... I've been stalling enough. Guys. Field trip. Okay, today the plan is simple. No, I'm not starting off like this. Okay. Everybody say hi, YouTube. I'm gonna edit this down in like a week. Smile. Or maybe tonight. I don't know. It depends. I gotta think. You get my mouse out of frame. <laughs> Dude, I hate. Okay, I see I hate recording live, but it, I think it's funnier. I always say this, but it's funny. And I already filmed thumbnails before stream, so I'm not going to be posing for you guys. <clears throat> Anything else before I start? Make sure you fill out the naughty or nice quiz. If you haven't already, you're naughty. If you want to be nice, fill out the quiz. Exclamation quiz in chat. Somebody type that in chat for me. Okay, I think I'm ready. <laughs> Wait, I had a bit. Wait, I got to pull up the movie phone. Thank you, Mac. Okay, I looked up when candy canes were made, and some say 1600s, some say 1800s. I think Google's a lie. Okay. <laughs> okay. I need to, like, make a script, I've realized. It's hard, like, improv -ing. Okay. Pause, champ. I'm ready. Say hi, YouTube. Something that I've noticed this year is that there's a whole bunch of wacky candy cane flavors. I went to my local grocery store, and there was literally, like, 20 different kinds of obscure, fruit-flavored, sour candy canes. You know, I grew up eating the normal ones, the peppermint. They're just bad. But now that we have Twinkies candy canes, Kool-Aid, what is wrong with this world? Today we're going to try them all to see if they're actually good. We sell odd ones at my job too. I haven't gone to the Dollar Tree in a while. And I have one really close to me. And the reason why I haven't gone in forever is because the last time I went was for Halloween. 
and I this was when I was buying the supplies for my bejazzled pumpkin stream. So, <laughs> dude, it's actually so dumb. So, like, I was telling the cashier, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, like, bedazzle a pumpkin. Because she was like, why are you buying, like, so many pumpkins? And she was like, oh, honey, when you finish it, show me a picture when you come back. I'm like, okay. Like, she was super nice. I haven't gone back since. Because I'm, like, too, I'm not, like, scared. But I'm just, like, anxious of that, like, conversation. Because, like, what if I show her the picture and she's like, what are you talking about? Or what if, like, she sees me, and then she's like, hey, where's your pumpkin? And then, like, I somehow deleted all my pictures from my phone. I don't know. I just have anxiety brain. So I haven't gone to the Dollar Tree since October. Guys, it's 11-11 Make-A-Wish. The Twinkie one is gonna be nasty. Honestly, out of everything in today's lineup, I think the Twinkie one has like the most promise. Cause I've tried sour candy canes before and it they're they're not good. Okay, so to go over what we have today, we have normal candy canes. Hashtag not sponsored hostess Twinkies. Kool-Aid, different fruit flavors. Hershey's Chocolate Mint. I think I've had these years ago. I think- I remember these being, like, decent. Creamsicle Orange Cream. These ones, I'm not excited for. Pe Cocoa Pebbles and Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> Dude. Jet puffed marshmallow cream flavor. These ones? Gage. Lifesavers, just random fruit flavors. And finally, sour punch. Dude, I I don't want to try these. These don't look good. Oh shoot, I hit my mouse. This is today's lineup. I'm obviously not gonna eat these all. I'm obviously not gonna eat them all. So anything we don't eat, um, my sister said we might like make little goodie bags for like the neighbors or her new coworkers. So don't worry, we're not gonna throw these away. The fruity pebble ones are gonna be so good. No, I I never liked fruity pebbles. Cocoa pebbles were always superior because then you get like chocolate milk. Okay, let's get started. The classic regular peppermint candy canes. To <laughs> melt all the candy canes together. Um, if I get 20 subs right now. Just kidding, don't do it. All of these boxes were two to four dollars each, depending on the brand. I think they all have 12 in them. Okay, just a normal classic candy cane. I'm not going to be sucking on it, okay? I don't want to get banned for eating a candy cane. So, how I ate candy canes when I was little. Yes, I sucked on them, but I'm not going to do that today. I like to snap them. Dude, I'm going to get crumbs all over my desk. I like to snap them. And then just go like this. A normal candy cane. It's good. It's minty. For some reason, I always thought candy canes were cream, but I think it's because I always had them with hot cocoa when I was little. I was gonna get hot cocoa today, but I don't need the sugar. This is already so much sugar I'm gonna eat today. You know, I remember the candy canes being more strong, but this brand is like a little bit bland. It's not like super strong. <laughs> I doubt there's any human that says candy cane is their favorite candy. I bet it's like some grandma. I mean, ask your grandma. Ask them if they're, it's, your, it's their favorite. Okay, I just realized I can't like chew on them. Cause you know, I don't want cavities. 
Are you guys gonna cancel me if I spit it out? Type one. I don't want to be sucking on these all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spit them out, but I'm not doing that on camera. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> Save the Twinkie ones for last. I'll do it. Watch till the end to see me react to the Twinkies candy cane. Subscribe now. Okay. Normal candy cane? It's alright. Just as I remember, just not even potent. I want to be, like, knocked out with peppermint in the fun way. There's, like, already so many crumbs on my desk. Okay, next. Should I do... This is technically my right, but your guys' is left. I'll work my way around. Around town. Okay, I'm gonna try the Kool-Aid ones. It says there's Tropical Punch, Cherry, and then Grape. Oh, it's actually is color-coded on the box. So blue is Tropical Punch, red is Cherry, and purple is Grape. Pretty straightforward. Cancel me? I don't- I never really liked Kool-Aid. And I think it's because my mom, he would always, like, use double the amount of water. Because, we, you know, we were broke. So Kool-Aid was, like, never good. Okay, this song just gets copywritten. Okay. I'm gonna try the Tropical Punch. Because blue is for me and you. Ew, there's, like, a little- There's a little extra tail of plastic. They're trying to kill the turtles, guys. Kool-Aid needs a lot of sugar. I don't know. If you're pulling up with Kool-Aid, I don't think we can be friends. Can okay, snap? <laughs> oh wait, the wrapper's really cute. It has tiny... The Kool-Aid man printed on it. That's actually really cute. Dub on the packaging. She gets scissors. BRB. Again? <laughs> I wanted to have the sh scissors show on screen first. <laughs> So these candy cane have like a very slight dark blue stripe on them. It's sweet, but it's not overpowering. This one was the tropical punch. It's like very bland. It tastes like blueberry, but it's not like it could be just because it's blue that I'm thinking of blueberry. It also has, like, a slight chalky taste. I wonder how actual peppermint is made. Because I've, I've always noticed that, like, the knockoff flavors always have a different texture. Okay, I don't... I don't like this one. I don't like it. It's not good at all. I want the flavor to be stronger, but it's very subtle. It's not- It doesn't, like, punch you in the face like I thought it would. Like, that dude Cooley man, he jumps through his walls. He jumps through walls. But the candy just stands on the side. Okay, I'm gonna try and line them up. 
So, wait, let's see. This side. <clears throat> Just so we get like a little visual indicator. This is good candy cane, bad candy cane. So, so far, I like just the normal. This one, not good. Okay, next. Let's try the Jeff Puff Marshmallow. I think it's cute. I don't know why they're rainbow, but you know what? I'm not hating it. <laughs> On the back, they give you a free ornament. Wow. Am I five? You would think the way that they're colored since they're rainbow, they're gonna be fruit, but they're marshmallow flavored. It's such a weird choice. It's probably just so it stands out more, like, on the shelves. And you know how else you can stand out? By following my channel, because guys, we are 30 minutes into stream, so if you're new here, click follow! You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat! Wow, can we hit our daily goal? I just realized the goal is not on screen. Oh, wait, I didn't just snap it. He's dead. Oh, dang. A piece just went across the room. The stripe on this is actually pretty crazy. It's really clean, but the inside is just white. Sad. Let's give her a try. It's too big a piece I put in my mouth. It's... Oh, like chewing on this one? It almost looks like a film of, like, sugar. It's not good. It does have like that. It does taste like marshmallow. But, like... The texture of, like, chewing on a marshmallow that's hard is not- is not it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Dude, I think the funniest thing is we're gonna give these candy canes away and people are gonna think they're normal flavors. <laughs> like, imagine getting a goodie bag with marshmallow-flavored candy canes. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Marshmallow, it's cute. It's adorable. Pride, we love her. But, not good. Is it worse than the Kool Aid, though? I think the texture on the Kool Aid was nicer. Like, the flavor on the marshmallow was decent, but the texture was not good. Like, the outside was chewy. Next, lifesavers. It's wild cherry, pineapple, and watermelon. Hmm. Okay, watermelon is probably the because they have red and pink, green and yellow, and then soft green and red stripes. I assume the watermelon is the soft stripes. Am I gonna try the watermelon one? Am I gonna try each flavor? No. <laughs> no. I don't want to subject myself to that torture. Also, I had enough sugar already. Actually, I didn't. I only had my yogurt drink for breakfast. Okay, let's give her a snap. It sounded like a firecracker. Okay, the inside is green. Bottoms up. Ooh! Okay, this one? Actually, really good. It tastes like watermelon Jolly Rancher. Wait, I just realized all of these candy canes are just gonna be fruit flavored hard candy. Yeah, this one literally tastes like it's literally just like a Jolly Rancher. Also, the the vacuum seal on this one isn't as good. It's not like flush. Am I gonna get sick? 
This one, actually, really good. You know, not as good as, like, an actual candy cane, but it actually tastes what it's advertised as. Wait, does, does Lifesavers make hard candy? Let's see. Notice how I'm not, like, instantly spitting this one out. <laughs> okay, Life Savers Hard Candy. Oh! You know why this one tastes good? This one tastes good because Life Savers already has their own hard candy. So they probably just used the same recipe, but just made it candy cane shaped. Okay. They know what they're doing. I forgot they had a hard candy. Okay, wait. <laughs> I'm not showing this. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to do this one. Sour Patch flavored. You know what? If you like malic acid, maybe you'll like this one, but I don't like sour candy at all. Okay, they have strawberry, blue raspberry, and green apple. I don't know which one. I don't want to do this one at all. I'll do green, because I'm feeling very sour today. Oh, I snapped in the wrong spot. The blue raspberry one sounds good, but I feel like green apple's more it. Okay, I don't know if the camera will focus. It's not gonna focus on it. But I got scammed. There's like a little tiny air pocket hole in my candy cane. I got scammed of like three milliliters of candy in this one. You know how there's always like a customer service phone number on like food products? Do you think people actually call them? They're like, hey, this candy ain't as sweet as it used to be. I'm gonna wait up for I'm gonna wait on hold for two hours to tell an operator that their candy sucks. I wonder that all the time. See, it's not just me. <laughs> Definitely old people. My lozenges hurt my teeth. So now I have to get edgers. That's what I bet they're saying. Okay, green apple. Pretty good. It has the classic green apple flavor. It's not too sour. I think this one would be- Wait, this is the sour punch! I thought this would be tender and more sour. I think for this design, or for this line of candy canes, I think it would have been interesting if they put like just straight malic acid on the actual candy cane. But this is too overbearing. It's quite pleasant. It's not as like strong as like, you know, the caramel apple pops you get for Halloween. It's like that, but not as intense. This one? Pleasantly surprised. I put it here. It's good. It's good. I'm back. I came home with the milk. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we are halfway through. Right now, still the best candy cane is peppermint, because nothing beats the classics. Okay. This one, I'm, like, excited for. This one is, like, the most normal candy cane that's not a candy cane. This is Hershey's Chocolate Mint Flavor. Oh, this one's already busted. I'll have this one. Dude, I'm so weak. 
Oh, this one smells pleasant. I didn't smell the other ones, I just realized, but... This one smells just like hot cocoa. Look at all that fake cocoa powder. Ah, this- this hits. Wait, gimme- give gimme give a second. Gimme a second. Ah! It's so good! Oh, disappointing. It doesn't, like, taste super strong of chocolate. I'm not getting any mint, either. It has that, like, it has the fake, like, Tootsie Roll Pop chocolate flavor, which I love. But I'm not getting, I'm literally getting no mint. If this was advertised as a chocolate candy cane, great. But chocolate mint, there's no mint at all. I hate false advertisers. Right here. It, it still tastes good. I definitely- Okay, if it had mint in it, I think I would like it less. But since it says it has mint but it doesn't taste like mint, it's going lower. Cancel me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. I'm not looking forward to this one. This is orange creamsicle candy canes. This one also has a cut out ornament for the five year olds. Wow. And just looking at this, the three of them are already cracked. And not the good way. No, four of them are cracked. I see this one either being really good or really bad. Leaning more towards really bad, honestly. The stripe is really cute, though. It has, like, different opacities of yellow wrapping around. What I do like about all these candy canes is that they have a really nice snack. Away? I don't think I've ever had an orange cream skull flavored candy. But it's just like the strawberry cream flavored candies. But the orange isn't too strong. This is actually like pleasant. It's definitely more cream flavored than orange. Because you get the cream first. And then it's a very subtle, like, aftertaste of orange. Okay, wait. This one's actually pretty good. I'm surprised. I was dreading this one. I thought this one would be, like, really bad, but... It's good. Where would I place it? You know what? I love an underdog story. Right after normal candy canes. Dude, I thought it was gonna be so bad. <laughs> Dang. Okay, it's annoying having to switch cameras, but you know, I don't want just me spitting out candy games online. I don't want that. Okay, second to last. Pebbles candy cane. We have Cocoa Pebbles. And Fruity Pebbles. Both cereal flavored. I'll try both of these since it's only two flavors in this pack. I'm gonna try the one that I feel like I'm gonna be disappointed in, so Fruity Pebbles. I personally don't like Fruity Pebbles. They were my sister's favorite. But she would, like, always eat them dry. Because she didn't like milk. So she would just snack on Fruity Pebbles. I would like to say this rainbow is inaccurate. I think they failed kindergarten. This is not Roy G. Biv. This is... Rio... Grippu. <laughs> Pretty Pebbles are so good, though. I don't know what candy came form, though, man. Ooh. 
The inside? The cross section is brown. Wait. It tastes just like Fruity Pebbles. And I hate Fruity Pebbles. It, it's still like very chalky. It has a similar texture to the chalkiness of the Kool-Aid candy cane. It's so weird. It tastes just like the flavoring on the Fruity Pebbles. Are Fruity Pebbles, like, flavored differently? Or are they like Skittles, where they're just colored different things, but taste the same? You know, I think they executed the Fruity Pebble flavor, but I don't, I don't think I could eat a whole stick of this, like, genuinely. It was, it was still better than Kool-Aid. It was better than Kool-Aid. You think all Fruity Pebbles taste the same? That's what I think, too. What even is a Fruity Pebble? I have a joke, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, next... The Cocoa Pebbles. I'm excited for this one. This one has potential. Dude, I keep breaking them. Okay, this one is a dark brown base with a very light brown swirl. The inside is white. Oh, I broke it twice. I still have the taste of the Fruity Pebble one in my mouth. I have Cocoa Pebbles in forever, but these don't taste like Cocoa Pebbles. It tastes like the chocolate in the mint candy cane. Like the Tootsie Roll chocolate. These are just chocolate favored candy canes. I think it's because it's hard to get like a cereal taste in a candy. Because like cereal has that kind of like wheat undertone, right? Or the grain. Because I'm just trying to remember the taste of like the Cocoa Pebbles milk and this doesn't taste the same. Like, the chocolate flavor itself is not super strong. It tastes like if you mixed chocolate and then condensed milk. That's what this tastes like. It's not... It's not horrible, but I'd rather have this one. It's not good. Mm -mm. Your mom eats cocoa pebbles with bananas in a bowl? You know, I've never seen her that- <laughs> I've never seen her eat that the next morning after. Yo. Okay, final candy cane. The long-awaited Twinkies candy cane. I remember when Twinkies went out of business, and it was the biggest meme. And look where they are now, they have their own candy cane. Dude, look at all these crumbs. <laughs> I like the packages that are like this. That way you don't have to yank it out from the front. This packaging is really good. They're just straight up yellow. These are also smaller. No, wait, they're the same size. <laughs> they just look smaller. I don't think- yeah, these ones- these Twinkie ones aren't as tall. 
Yeah, they're super short compared to the other candy canes. Like, they're as tall as some of them that I've broken off the bottom two inches of. They're scamming. It smells like cake. These don't taste like cake at all. It tastes like vanilla buttercream. Which I guess is like the filling of a Twinkie. It's pleasant. It's not overly sweet, which is nice. Yeah, it just tastes like frosting. I wish it had more cakey flavor. They're all right. I want them to be disgusting. That's what I wanted. But they're not. Let's see. I'd put them... I was surprised that they were decent, so I'll put them in the middle. There we go. <laughs> okay. So to review, I have normal candy cane, best candy cane. You can't beat a classic. You know, I hate remakes. Next, was this the creamsicle? Oh my god, it was. Next, orange creamsicle. Pleasantly surprised. And then, Lifesaver's watermelon. Sour Punch green apple. Hershey's chocolate mint. Hostess Twinkies. What's this one? Oh, this one, Fruity Pebbles, Kool-Aid, Tropical Punch, Cocoa Pebbles, and then finally, Marshmallow. That is my final lineup. If you want to try this for yourself at home, make your own video and tag me. <laughs> Honestly, this wasn't as disgusting as I thought it'd be. I thought I would, like, try them and, like, instantly get. But some of them were, like, really pleasant. Like, the Crimsicle was a surprise, the Twinkie wasn't half bad. I think it's because... Dude, imagine if they had savory candy canes. Oh, dude, like, remember the trend of the really disgusting soda pops? They need to make, like, Christmas ham-flavored candy cane. That's what I want to see next year. That would have gone crazy, because the Wonka movie is coming out this year. They should have made, like, savory candy cane. They should have. If you're watching me right now, credit me for the idea. Thank you. Like, meatloaf? I've never had meatloaf. I really want to try meatloaf. But everybody says it's, like, bad. Okay, so that is my... <laughs> How much did I spend on the stream? Two, four, six. Nine times four. Thirty dollars! I spent thirty dollars. Minus thirty. Guys, that concludes the weird candy cane tasting. Maybe next year? I won't do this. <laughs> okay, so that was the first holiday stream of 2023, guys. Loads more holiday streams this year. Last year, I was looking back at my VOD catalog, and I primarily just baked. So this year, we're gonna have stream after stream after stream of holiday-themed stuff. You wanna hear what's on the itinerary? I'll link some of them. And yes, I have two phones. Oh, stream isn't over yet. Stream isn't over yet. We're gonna re be wrapping presents in a minute. Let's see. I'm only gonna leak some of them. Some of them are maybes, depending on if I want to do them or not. I have playing every single snow Mario Let's game. Go. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Can we get... Hi, Kim. Thank you for the 11 months. Holy moly. One for the main and one for the side. See, you got it. Hi, Kim. Thank you. Can we get some wimps in chat? Thank you for the resub. You almost have a year badge. You're almost at a triple sunflower. I, okay, I was... Kim, when did you start, like, watching the stream, like, regularly? Because I was editing a stream from... 
I think it was September of 2022. And it was just... Ch Kim typed one message in the whole stream. I was like, what? Anyway. Okay. Playing every single snow level in Mario games. Naughty or nice quiz results. Exclamation quiz in chat. If you haven't filled it out, fill it out now. Um, naughty or nice list stream. We did this last year. So I'm going to be exposing all of your logs on stream. What else? Maybe making cookies for Santa. Because Santa is real. And depending on if, like, you guys have been naughty or nice this year, I will stream on Christmas. I will be making Christmas crepes. Maybe. It's either going to be crepes or pancakes. Because, like... Imagine if I made crepes that looked like trees. Because you know how when you make a crepe, you can either like roll it or you can fold it. You Okay, it's a circle, right? You fold it in half and then you fold it again so it makes a little triangle. You make a tree out of three. And then other holiday streams that are yet to be to Dermon. Oh wait, Winter Wishes! Winter Wishes, guys. Um, also Christmas tree review. Make sure you are following my Twitter. Because I'm gonna make posts, and then you guys can reply to the posts with pictures. I'm gonna be posting those, I think, on Sunday. So make sure you're following my Twitter, exclamation Twitter and chat. It's at PeaceIn17, without an underscore. What else? Um, because for Winter Wishes and the Christmas tree review, I need more submissions, so I'm gonna be posting it on Twitter. Because I have yet to get enough submissions in the Google form. So I'm going to post on Twitter and TikTok too. I started watching regularly in January, but I popped in once because Kobobo gave me a sub. Shoutouts Kobobo, giving random people gifted. Okay. I'm going to clean up my table. Okay? And then, also you guys are going on a field trip. We're farming now. If you cheer more than 300 bits... Wow, holy shit, Keelan's gifted 1,500 bits already, mod check. If you cheer more than 300 bits, Twitch will match 10%, so you can give me an extra 10% bonus this year. Yes, Twitch loves me. <laughs> um, while I'm getting cleaned up, I'm going to run an ad. After the ad, we're going to wrap some presents. So, if you don't want to miss a single second, wait. It's like, it's like Django. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> this is so dumb. I'm gonna knock this down. Okay, so, guys, I'm gonna run an ad while I clean up this table. And then I'm gonna wrap presents. You guys are gonna see what I bought my friends as a brokey. So, if you don't wanna miss a single second, subscribe. We are an hour to stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99 to $5. If you're a first time sub, you get 25% off. So, only. A whole dollar off your new tier one if you subscribe today. So get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Um, Kobobo, here you go. Here is a link to the Twitch article that explains all of the end of year sales on Twitch this year. I think gifted subs aren't going to be discounted until December. It's the very end of December, I think. But right now, bits are... They cheer more, so it's kind of like a discount, but not really. Yeah, I assume they wanted to wait on the gifted. <laughs> that way they don't lose too much money, you know? still have last year's um naughty or nice list i think I, I think i see it under my bed i just wiped off crumbs on my carpet <laughs>
How many submissions do I have for the quiz now? Um, I had 15 before I started stream. Let's see how many I have now. Um, guys, exclamation quiz to chat. Fill it out, por favor. Let's see. Oh, wrong phone. I'm not logged in on that phone. I'm taking a selfie. I've gotten a good handful of submissions from YouTube, though, which is good. I've gotten two submissions! Pog! Let's see who did it. I'm not gonna reveal the answers, but let's see who did it. Thank you to the two people who submitted. Let's see. Oh, we had a Rick and Rat who was in chat earlier. First time chat. Let's go! First time chat and participated. We love that. Okay, let's see who was 17. My favorite number. Oh, <laughs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. I need to read this one. <laughs> okay. I know who this is. I, I found out who Peace and S Simp is in chat. I found out who they are. And it is somebody's old. <laughs> it's somebody's old. I'm not gonna say who's old though. I, I'm not gonna say who. It's good. They did some good bits for the pre response, so they were good. Okay. Time to wrap presents, guys. Now, I'm a brokey, okay? So this year. I had a budget of like a hundred dollars. When last year, I, I literally, because last year we moved, we moved on Thanksgiving last year to the unit we're in now, and I had no spending money um, since I was and currently am in the process of applying for a disability, I wasn't allowed to have a savings either. You can't have any investments, you can't have any liquid assets or things that you can sell. so. This year, I just kept $100 in my checking account. That's what I did this year. Because that's technically fine. So, I was able to buy my sister and my roommate presents this year. Which felt really good. So, partially, par part of some of the money came from you guys for subscribing. So, thank you. You guys helped buy presents this year. Yeah, let's do a haul. Also, my sister's not allowed to watch this stream. If you're watching, if you're watching on the TV downstairs, turn it off. Turn it off. Also, if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. If you're watching and you're not following, you're a fake fan. Oh, wait, I should change the title. Wrapping presents, people smile. Wrapping presents. Oops. Dude, I've been practicing typing and I'm still so bad. My words per minute is still 50. Wrapping presents, peace I too smile. That's a good title, right? I have so many things to wrap. Okay, so how we do presents at our house, we live in a duplex, but we just say house is we don't want to do tags or stickers to label who's is who so everybody gets their own wrapping paper and we have leftover wrapping paper from last year so this is my roommate who is my sister's friend he gets santa and don't worry there is ethnic santa on this wrapping paper 
Go woke, go broke. My sister gets gold. There's not much left. And then I got gauge. <laughs> I got rainbow. I saw this at Walmart and I was like, I need this. So all my presents are being wrapped in rainbow. Um, obviously, I didn't get any presents for myself. So I'm not going to be using this today. I was standing it up like this, like a dumbass. Wrapping presents is fun. Wrapping presents suck. I think it's relaxing. Also, my mom never let us wrap our own presents or presents for each other when we were little, so like, I never learned. Okay, so primarily, I, I mainly I got things for my sister. Cause you know, she's my favorite sister. They're gonna be using gold. I'm just gonna take up. Can I pick up everything that I bought her? I bought her so much stuff. Oh my god. Okay. Should I take off the price tags? Slash SRS. I'm gonna try and find the big things first. Okay. Yes? I'm gonna leave them on just because you said to take them off. I found this at Winko. Isn't this cute? It's a... Hello Kitty ceramic mug, and then it has candy and then cocoa. But she, cause last year, she got a Hello Kitty ramen bowl, but then I used it, so she like, gets mad. So I got her another one. They only had this at Winko for like, a day. Cause I went to Winko randomly, and they had this, and then I went like, two days later, and they were like, all gone. Winko is apparently only on the west coast. And like, some midwestern states. It's not on the east coast at all. Winko is the best. They have so much bulk food. It's nice. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try wrap the big things first. Okay, I need to. I think I need to move my chair. People can stream out of like the corner of their rooms. That to me is crazy. Also, I just realized <laughs> headless stream, everybody. I'm not moving the camera because I didn't like clean the rest of my room, so everything like out of frame is cluttered. Hmm, how should I do this? I know there's like a way to measure, but that's like too aggro. <laughs> the wrapping paper is hitting my laptop screen because it's right here. Oh, wait, wait, I know how to do this. You're supposed to go like this. And then you leave like an extra few inches. It's funny. I went to the mall the other weekend, right? And... Wait, this is just like... Binging with babish, but wrapping paper. Holy shit. I went to the mall the other weekend, right? And they had a free gift wrapping station. But... They were like, hey! If we wrap a small gift, recommended tip $5. Large gift, recommended tip $10. Large, large gift, recommended tip $20. Insane. Just basic, just charge for the service thing. So silly. Also, 
Also, I really appreciate this wrapping paper as guides on the inside. Cog. Wait, this one is so tall. I think I cut it and it doesn't fit. <laughs> um, should I work at Macy's type one? Imagine you pull up to your local Macy's and you see me, Peason underscore 17 working. What would you do? There's so much inside that cup. I mean, it's candy, a coaster, and then cocoa. They just make it look big because the package is inside. It's probably like very low ounce. Okay, now let's go. Um, who's wrapping their own presents alongside me? Type one. <laughs> Dude, I love farming ones. It's so fun. I'm so stupid. I <laughs> did Measured out the height, I went like this. I went, I didn't measure the bottom side. <laughs> um, why am I doing flat side up? Oh, wait, you're saying I should wrap it like up? Yeah, okay, let's see if I can salvage this. I don't know, it's like a weirdly shaped item. Oh wait, I just had it placed the wrong way. Wait, I did it! Okay, we're good now. Oh, wait, should I do it like this way? Okay, that looks stupid. When I bought this kit, I was like, how am I gonna wrap it? You know what I should do? I should make, like, you know, the ASMR videos where they just wrap everything. Gift bagging, everything is the way to go. That's what you do if you're a wimp. If you are a P-U-S-S-Y. Are you a P-U-S-S-Y, go, go, go. I'm staring at the camera, but I'm too tall. For once, I'm too tall. <laughs> yes? Shame. Yeah, I have washi tape. Face reveal. You want to see how bad it is? Zoom in. There's only like a millimeter overlap on the tape. Oops. There's so much overlap. Okay, this is the bottom. I overshot this by so much. Okay. You know what? I'm hashtag don't. No. I'm hashtag don't save the trees this year. 
fuck? <laughs> and you said I should work at Macy's. You know, I'd be working the gift wrapping booth at the mall and I would get no tips. I'm taping this way. Sad Beeson. I'm doing so good right now. I'm cracked. Look at me. We should get a speedrun timer on screen. At least the wrapping paper is pretty. Yeah. Okay, this is so much extra. Yeah, what you do is you get your middle thing, put it in. Um, ladies. <laughs> you know, if my sister makes fun of how rapid, then she's being ableist. Okay. I know weaponizing your disability is bad. But, you know, I use it to get it out of chores sometimes. Wait, I, I kind of got it. That's that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to like fold over, but the the bottom of the package isn't like fully tight, but it's like so plastics film around a box base, but the film is very loose, so there's like air. Maybe washi tape isn't strong enough. It works. Okay, I have so much extra. I don't know why I overshot this so much. Um, everybody take notes. Make sure you measure properly. <laughs> Dude, Colleen! Look at that line! My god. <laughs> you know, I think the bit is funnier if you wrap it back. Wait, the bottom fell out. I'm getting different tape. I have actual clear packing tape. I'll use this. Wait, the reflection is really pretty. You, you can put on a puppet show with this. I would have definitely bagged that. Well, I'm not a P-U-S-S-Y, okay? I am a C-H-A-D. A Chan. Wait, <laughs> this looks so stupid. <laughs> okay, now I need a ribbon. I see... A wee nunchuck cord. I see a charging cable. I don't have any of the fun rope. Because I don't like that stuff. What if I just tape it? I'm, I'm just gonna tape it. You know, I start off with the most difficult thing to wrap. Everything else should be easier. 
Whenever I took tests in school, I would always do the hardest question first. Okay, hey, watch me. Guessers, what do you think this is? This is the new pre-made prefab tiny home that you can buy for yourself at Walmart. Epic. I'm going to be putting all my wrap things into a bag. That way it's easier to carry downstairs. Um, this is my I'm a woke lib bag that I stole from my mom. Who is not a woke lib. <laughs> Next. Isn't this cute? I saw this at Safeway. Wait, you can't really see its eyes. It's a cat. Because we feed a good handful of stray cats that are just in our neighborhood. And this one looks kind of like one of them. $15. It's cute. <laughs> Webkins? Maybe. My sister really likes cats. And we're not allowed to have a cat in our unit. So this will suffice. I might run out of paper. Um. Uh. What do I do? I guess my sister, because this is leftover from last year, she must have gotten a lot of presents last year, even though she was very naughty. Hey, don't worry, Peta. This is a fake cat. to wrap for her. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh oh. Now our no tag system is not gonna work. Okay, well it's basically the whole length of the paper that I have left. Bag it? That's cheating. You know what? This takes up the whole piece of paper. I'm gonna put the seam on its butt. Oh my god, Mario Wonder Music. I genuinely don't know what we're gonna do because our whole labeling process is not gonna work for the tree because like the whole point of having different wrapping paper for everybody is that we're like oh under the tree we know who's who based on the color of the paper but now we can't do that i'm sad imagine i just cut up its head Imagine. I have some left. Yeah, that that is proper wrapping technique. You fold over, and then you fold over again. Now, obviously, it's supposed to be a bit more clean, but. Writing the names is cute, though. Yeah. But it's like... 
we didn't want to like make more waste you know because i think tags are a waste or like bows like bows are cute but they're so wasteful like packaging in general is so wasteful and it's like we're not little kids anymore you know like if i had a kid which i'm not having a kid i mean like if i had to give a gift to a child i would definitely wrap it like crazy dude i didn't even tape it but for an adult, don't matter. I'm just happy I'm getting something. I think everything should just come in a box. If I become president, that's my first ordinance. Okay, wait, this is- That's actually so bad. <laughs> I thought it was good, but look at that! You know, I'm just creasing and folding. I'm putting this like it with a chip bag. When the clip is too small. Mario Kart music, I think. See? All good! Five subs and I punch the cat right now. Okay, two presents done. This is the this is the last large thing I have for my sister. It's uh the poster set. Hello kitty. Wait. Oh, oh my god, it's perfect. Holy shit. I got so lucky. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. This is like when I wrap my paintings up for chipping. I don't know how to fold the paper. Because there's not a thick enough edge here. <laughs> Felix, that looks stupid. Maybe it folds the sides in first? Also guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if we're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Wow. Oh wait, out of the way, this is, this is gonna look bad out of the way. It don't matter. No important. <laughs> this is so bad. Yeah, I'm gonna try and cut a straight edge. I think what you're supposed to do with flat packages, you're supposed to pull the corner in. I think you're supposed to fold the corner in like a triangle. Oh wait, I figured it out! 
fold under. Holy moly, I did it. Clean. Okay, let me do it again. First, you fold a triangle in from the side. You fold at the end, and then you fold a slight half-inch tab. Holy shit, I'm learning. I could never work in a factory, because I'd be, I'd be so bad at packaging. <laughs> like, just packing a normal box, too, I'd be so bad. Cut this. Okay, once again for the pants. I'm gonna trim this. Okay, once again, you fold a triangle. Oh wait, I tore it. <laughs> okay. Um. Then you fold at the seam. Grease. And you fold under. I wonder if the manager at Macy's gets mad if you, like, waste too much paper wrapping. Like, when you mess up. Like, what's the level that they'll be, like, okay with? Because I know when I worked at Subway, like, if you messed up one sandwich a week, like, that's, that's fine. But like if you're messing up every day, mm-mm. Not good. He not as clean, but decent. Any guessers? What is this? Flashbang. That's three. taking out everything because I'm wrapping things for my sister and then my friend because my roommate just wanted a painting so I didn't buy him anything okay next is candy I have Krabby Patties Krabby Patties but gauge and then cookie dough The wrapping paper might be big enough? Christmas is not ruined, everybody. Okay, I think I'm gonna pre-cut a bunch of tape. You wrap candy? Okay, if you wrap more things, then it looks like they have more presents. My budget was $100. You know, this is what you do as a brokey. Rest in peace, stocking. We were like debating if we wanted to do stockings or not, but we decided not to. Because none of us really like candy, and we already have like enough food in the kitchen. 
So we were like, we don't need stockings. We don't need treats. Wait, not too bad. Is it okay to wrap a Christmas gift with duct tape? You mean like as the sealant? It depends on like what type of vibe you want. Like if you want to give like a, a stalker serial killer vibe, then yeah. But otherwise, I would say no, don't scare the children. Lean! Any guessers? What is this present? Oh, <laughs> wait. You know what would be a funny bit? Uh, how, how would you even do this bit? Like, you, you wrap a bunch of things, but they're, like, really fucked up presents. And you give it to somebody as, like, a social experiment. How would that, like, even work? Like, <laughs> like one one thing could be like you just wrap like somebody's urn. <laughs> actually, actually, uh, reset. I don't like that joke. I don't like where that one is going. I'm back. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna abuse the starting screen bit so much. Oh, it's not long enough. I might have to Frankenstein some of the wrapping paper. Wait, I can wrap these together. No, that won't work. It's not tall enough. I might have to use some of the rainbow paper for my sister. But she doesn't like looking woke. <laughs> Dude, it's so bad. Cause me and my sister, like, I'm online all the time and she's like, moderately online. She has like an old Twitter account that she just uses to watch like cat videos. But she and I make so many like, <laughs> right wing jokes. <laughs> like, I was... <laughs> I was, I was at a restaurant with my friend the other weekend, and it was like a, it was like a burger bar place. I didn't drink, but like, it was like filled with TVs that had sports games, right? And there was one commercial that had, <laughs> keep in mind this friend is white. This friend is white. Um, there was this one commercial that had like, a parent who like, obviously had a kid who was an adoptee, because like. They weren't the same race. <laughs> I was like, what is up with these people adopting, you know, brown babies? I was like, what is up with these interracial families? And then my friend was like, what do you mean? You were in a interracial relationship before. And I'm like, dude, I'm joking. But it's gone too poor where, like, my delivery has gotten too good where, like, my friends think I'm not joking. And I think I need to stop. But you know, pretending to be Kekona is like so fun. 
Anyway, I love Christmas. Clean. Okay, I'm like genuinely so good at wrapping like boxes. I have five done. Okay, this one, I think I'm gonna Frankenstein. I'm gonna use some leftover here. To just, you know, fill that tent. She won't even notice. Hey, Colleen, look at that. You can't even tell. So bad. Oh no! Wait, it's not long enough. Oh no! Don't worry, I can fix this. Do not fear, for Peason is here. Your hero, your savior. Dude, I think, <laughs> I think it's fire <laughs> that it's just like Frank and Rat. Wait, you can't even tell, look. You can't even tell. I have six presents done, about halfway done. Oh. Nobody tell my sister I touched my nose. Because something that I'll do, you guys probably notice, I'll like go like this and like rub my nose. And I get so, my, my skin around my nose is so bad because of it. So my sister told me if I don't do it for a week, she'll give me like 20 bucks. No narcs. I technically didn't do it. I stopped myself and I touched my nose. Okay, these are other things from my sister. They're smaller. So I have a get all me lanyard, a sleeping cat gotcha. Hopefully she can't hear me. She has a phone call right now. Um, a get me mini backpack keychain, and then a one piece magnet. 
because she likes collecting magnets. No, I don't... I don't have any paper at all. My sister might have to use the gauge paper. Oh, damn, it's so close. No way. You gotta start using toilet paper? Imagine. But, like, I buy myself the good toilet paper. Okay, guys. I know money is scarce right now. I know Bidenomics is an L. Hey, Kona. But spend your money on things that'll make your day-to-day -day life more enjoyable. Don't save that two bucks and get one ply paper. Spend that extra two dollars and get nice four ply. It's so nice. What'd you get for your roommate? Um, he wanted a painting, so I'm gonna make him a painting. The moment I started buying nicer toilet paper, holy shit! I became so much happier. Wait, what if I just put these together? Wait, this won't fit. I bought this lanyard in hopes that my sister could use it for her new job. But now she actually has a job she can use it for. Wait, I might just give this to her next week. I'll give this to her next week. No narcs. It's just like origami. But like, really bad origami. Don't worry, I can make those jokes, I'm Asian. Yo! One piece of tape. Any guessers? What is this? The two things. I only have scraps. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What if I just do this? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. Cute. You picked all the hardest things to wrap. Yeah, cause my sister's a pain in the ass. Wait, call this the new trend, half wrapped. I got so close. I might- I, I think I'm gonna give- cause the- the green is from my roommate. I'll- I'll open up the rainbow. My sister gets the rainbow. This is... 200 square feet. Surely- look how thick that is. My finger for comparison. It's so much paper, surely I won't run out. Clean. 
Yeah, this wrapping paper is actually crazy. It has different shades. This one is actually really pretty. And not because I'm gauge. Wait, this paper is woke. You know what it says on the inside? It says recycle. First the rainbow is now this. Okay, this is not how you're supposed to cut. See how I'm twisting my elbow the wrong way? I think today's stream is a tutorial on how to not wrap presents. You take notes on what you're not supposed to do. Oh, wait, I overshot this. How do I keep... I always cut way too much. Look, I have like an extra two inches. clean okay, less clean but it's still fine I think my scissors are still sticky from the candy canes.
I'm not measuring this time. I'm just doing an eyeball. And no, I don't care if my paper is jagged, it's fine. It's called charm. <laughs> oh no. Okay, save is fine. Lean. Oh wait, this is perfect. Any guessers? Okay, so that's all of my sister's presents. Now I'm gonna wrap my friends. And by friends, I mean friend singular apostrophe s, because I only have one friend. I got them eggnog flavored coffee. It actually smells really good. Can I give them the rainbow wrapping? <laughs> Nah, I'll do green. I don't want them to look woke when they open it on Christmas. But this one, this one has ethnic Santas. Is this more woke? Rainbow paper? Or, look. They have a whole bunch of different Santas. Okay, this is gonna take up the whole, like, paper. Oh, this smells so good. Holy... Okay, one sec. I'll be right back.
Sorry, my sister called for me. <laughs> okay. Guys, we are two hours in the stream. I should have run the ad when I walked away. But it's time for me to run an ad. So, you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or, you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. Do you have people Prime sub available? Get boomed. Understand why I keep like overshooting the paper. Hmm. I don't know. I was never good at geometry. Is what I'll say. Geometry is so fun. No, it's not. It's so boring. I'm also like, I'm an artsy person, right? But I'm really bad at picturing like shapes. I'm also like not a nerd. Stats is fun. Stats is for like actual nerds. When I was in high school, AP stats was what you took if you weren't, if you like didn't want to take calc. So if you took stats, you were like basically a. Seems a dumbass. Please. Like, I remember there was one day I had like a huge test in AP Calc. And when you take calc in high school, I don't know if they still do it now, but there's calc AB and then calc BC. So I was in calc BC because it was my second, no, no, it's calc AB because it's my first year of calc. And I remember I had a huge test in our, <laughs> in our, um, portable was right next to the AP stat class. And they got to count fucking M&Ms. To figure out probability of getting a certain color and they did that for like a week because they had to get ample data to figure out their solution for how often you get a green eminent plebs I'm clueless. Wait, maybe? Maybe I'm only supposed to measure out three sides. So I've been measuring out the side. Like, like that, right? Maybe I'm only supposed to measure out three. No, but that can't... No, I don't know how to wrap presents. Guys, I, I need to do well because I don't think I can work in Macy's. It's like not for me. You know, I'll say it Macy's workers are the real heroes. They're saving the holidays. Here we go. Any guessers?
Wait, I think I did it upside down. <laughs> the top is here. Dang it. Okay, next. This one is really funny. Cause I mainly got my friend just food. <laughs> the perfect man! <laughs> Five dollars at Winko. Okay, this one will fit on this tiny strip that I have. This is Animal Crossing music from Mario Kart. My favorite game. And don't worry, I will do the Mario Kart tier list stream. Someday! I have all the assets prepared, it's just, you know, that's gonna be a long stream and I have to be like on for six hours. Is my sister a good gift giver? I don't know. She and I are very much like, just tell me what you want and I'll buy it. Cause both, she and I both, when we were younger, um, our parents would give us a budget of like a hundred dollars every year for Christmas, so then they would pretend to be Santa's helpers, and they're like, Oh my god, Santa gave you and your sister a hundred dollars each to spend at Toys R Us. What do you want from Santa? So, we never had to like, buy something without the other person who receiving it, and they don't know what it is prior. So I don't really know. This is like the first year where we're buying something blind for each other. But she and I promise for anything smaller, it's fine to give blind. But for like a larger purchase, then we have to make sure the other person like genuinely wants it. Like my sister might buy me a new pro controller, but I have to find one that I like. Because I was looking at the Kirby one that I saw at a GameStop a while ago. But it's not a rechargeable controller, it's batteries only, which I think is kind of dumb. Just enough paper. Any guesser? Nobody would guess that this is the perfect man inside a box. Two more left and then we're done. Next we have Sour Patch Poles because there are jackass. I'm kidding! Unless... This one might fit. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. This, this one will not work. Not enough overhang. spending Christmas this year? Um, like every other Christmas, just doing nothing. Because when we were younger, we didn't have any extended family, so we never spent Christmas as, like, big deal. It would just be, like, our immediate family. And then this year, it's probably just gonna be my sister and I, so. Just like last year, just another day. 
But this year, we actually have presents! I mean, cause like, I'm- I was raised agnostic, so I don't have any like, religious meaning or sentiment behind any holiday. I think if I was raised religious, then I would care about it more, but... I, that just wasn't in the cards for me. Mario Wonder. I'm already for the Winter Wishes stream, which, if you're curious, you can submit your Winter Wish, where if Tizen underscore 17 could give you anything, what would you want it to be? Um, I'm already writing the jokes for it, <laughs> and I got some good ones. It will have props, it will have bits. The only thing I don't have is live actors, because, you know, um, I love strikers. Mario strikers, to be more exact. Oh, I didn't pre-cut any tape. Sad. I think these scissors are cooked. We have too much adhesive on them. Second to last present done. Okay, and the final one of the day. Soda candies. These are the best thing ever. And I haven't seen this in the shop in forever. And I remember... I got... I remember it was me and my friend. It was late at night in the park, and we were just popping these. No. No, this will not fit. Dropping 
presence is like really difficult, guys. I deserve a raise. I think I need to get that 70 30 split. Just kidding. Unless. You know what I also just realized? This friend has really bad vision. So they won't like even see how badly wrapped everything is, right? That's how blindness works. who was watching like how to wrap presents on stream last year <laughs> i think it was i can't remember if it was me or her yo and that everybody is christmas 2023 that's what i did santa's coming early this year The tape on this one is already coming off. He yeah, honestly, these boxes are pretty good. Not gonna lie. They can't stand though. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna hide this layer. Yo, that this is my Christmas lineup 2023. Hey. Hour 30, not bad. Not bad. Oh, dude, the coffee smells so good. So, that's how we're going to start off the holiday streams for this year, guys. Um, 
We have a little over a week until Christmas. Ten days. So, ten days of Christmas, everybody. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream every day until Christmas. But I'm going to make sure that I do all the holiday streams planned. I will do them. Hopefully I won't be sick or tired or disabled. <laughs> anyway. So, today we did candy canes and presents. The next time I see you... I'm not telling you what we're going to do. It's going to be a surprise. So make sure you're following and you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Well, making eye contact is so weird. Okay. Um, we did get a resub today, so we're going to do calligraphy. You know the drill. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points or donate to the channel. If you cheer more than 300 bits, Twitch will match part of your donation. Up to 10%. And... If you are a new viewer and you want to subscribe, now is the time to do it. You can get up to 25% off any new tier 1 to my channel. Let's go! I want my chair back. Okay. Easy. I don't have the second camera today. So if you want to see it, um, zoom in on your computer. And then flip and rotate. Okay, so thank you to Kim for the 11 month resub. I appreciate your continued support. Thank you. Glad to see you today in chat. Okay. Now we can do brokies. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Holiday theme colors, okay. Let's do bright red. Wait, this pen is kind of dying, so it looks like it has a white streak through the lettering, so it could be like candy cane.
You know what I want for Christmas? New Tombos. Thank you, Mac, for redeeming. Okay, last call, everybody. Last call. Do you want me to write your name? All you must do is use your channel points or donate to the, to the channel. Last call. I just realized I've been standing for the past hour and a half. I'm gonna be dead later. Ooh, you know what sounds so good? A strawberry freeze from Taco Bell. I might get one. <laughs> okay, guys. I think we can wrap it up here for today. I would like to thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you all for hanging out today. The start of the 2023 holiday streams has begun. We tasted candy canes and then I wrapped presents. Very nice. I'm hoping to go live tomorrow, depending on how I feel. Because I want to try and stream most every day. Because now that my sister has a job, I won't have to babysit her. By babysit, I mean like help her answer calls and emails. So you guys, hopefully we'll see more of me in the upcoming months. Paul. Once again, thank you to Kim for the resub. Thank you. Make sure, everybody, you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. New video out tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed. YouTube.com slash at PeaceIn17 for weekly highlights. And then YouTube.com slash at PeaceIn17 clips for daily YouTube shorts and clips from stream. Thank you all for watching. I will see you when I see you. Goodbye. Dude, I still have to finalize the edit for tomorrow's video. It's going to be the jump, jump, jump stream. Stream ends when I beat the hardest level in Mario Wonder. I have the edit just about done. Oh wait, make sure you take the Naughty or Nice quiz. The link was just put in chat. Make sure you take it. I want three more submissions by tomorrow. Do your homework, everyone. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.